every 20 minutes. 2020 travel. BBC Hereford and Worcester. Let's get an update on the roads right now. Keeping our eye on it for the morning is Lucy Plant. Slightly better news in Hereford. The accident on the A49 Ross Road by Hinton Carriage. That has now been cleared, but it is still causing a lot of congestion in and out of the city. The problem with Hereford is if anything happens at any time, then it comes to gridlock. It's a domino effect, isn't it? It's just, you know, if the one side of the chain starts getting clogged and the other side progressively, everything comes to a standstill, really. It just bounces on everywhere. Connecting people and connecting places is about creating beautiful cities and extending beautiful places. That's what we've got here in Hereford. In the past, the problem was that engineers thought that they could build their way out of problems simply by pouring tarmac. We've learned from those mistakes, and what we're designing here is actually a fine city street. We've been designing this street, consulting people, and we've had to find the best designers from around the UK, people who are working throughout Europe, to help us come up with the right solution for Hereford. Hereford is not unique. Um, it's rather different in that it's, it's busy and has problems for longer periods of the day than a lot of other cities. A lot of places have much more acute problems in the morning and the evening peaks, but it's now one o'clock on a Wednesday and actually it's still very congested. We will get as much traffic away from the roundabouts down there as possible by providing people with more direct routes. Here, even though you don't want to go through that roundabout sometimes, you have to do it. So just opposite, there's a major multi-storey car park underneath the Maillard Centre. You can come into it from the Ledbury direction. When you come out, you are forced to join this queue go down to the roundabout, to U-turn, to come back this way. We will allow people to go straight from Maylords, behind here, straight out again. They won't have to use these. So we are going to make improvements. We're going to make big improvements for pedestrian connectivity. We're going to help cyclists. We're going to try and help the buses, help promote park and ride. But Hereford will still remain a very busy city. The traffic on this road at the moment will be redirected on the new link road so and that's the main intention is to try and take the pressure it is an impo important strategic through route at the moment but it'll become less important in the future when the link road comes into play movement is the lifeblood of cities i think increasingly we're talking about about treating streets like these as great streets you know streets that have proper frontage that still carry high levels of traffic but actually enable people to cross quite easily and that's what we want to set up something that's not so dominated by the car but actually allows people to, to make their own decisions about how they want to move from one side to the other. At the moment, you've got to take a very indirect, circuitous route to cross here, which of course puts a lot of people off and it makes it that much harder. Um, we can make that much more direct by starting with the place, starting with pedestrian movements and building the traffic flows around that, rather than the other way around. Well, that's essentially shared space. The connectivity from the historic part of the city across to the ESG area is absolutely critical to the overall project. We've got to get rid of this traffic issue in here. What we can do is by building a link road to the north, we can relieve this traffic. We're not going to get rid of all of it, but by having a road closer up to the railway, provide access to all the developments and enable the relief of traffic from here. During the detailed design process, we've been listening to the community and we've been making very important changes. And one of those changes is at this junction here, where we've changed the emphasis away from the private car to all users. It's about sharing the space between pedestrians, cyclists, buses, taxis and cars, and making this junction fit for all of those users and getting the balance right. What we must avoid is people hemorrhaging to, this out, to the outside uh, of the Hereford City and in particular hemorrhaging completely outside the county altogether. That's what we've got to stop and we've got to make Hereford a place that you come not only for some big flagship names, not only for a multiplex cinema, but also for the existing stores that are there now, those good independent stores. This is about the future, this is about making Hereford a vibrant place, a place that we can uh, invest in the future, a place where we know that we can not only live and work but we can also shop here, we can also play here as well. Well...